Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about push-pull. Push-pull is a great command. A lot of people call it out as being their favorite SketchUp command because it lets you take 2D shapes and pull them into 3D space. And we're going to figure out how to do that right now. All right, so... When I pull up the push-pull command, there's not as many modifiers as we see on some of the other commands. There's a, an option to create new surfaces and stretch. Uh, we're going to come through and bug, buzz through those in just a second. First, we're going to talk about just using push-pull. We'll start with the pencil in just draw mode. So to, to pull a surface into 3D space using just draw, all I'm going to do is touch the screen on a surface, move my end of my pencil to where I want to drag it to, and let go. That's it. Pretty simple. If I switch to click, move, click, I'm going to I'm going to come in here and hard press on one surface and then hard press again when I moved it to where I needed to go. Pretty simple. All right, let's talk touch. With touch, I'm going to long press on a surface and then long press when I get to the next height I want. I should point out any of these things I'm doing, I can actually use inferencing too. So when I long press to get that first surface, if I come over here and inference off of this top surface, and long press again, this height of this new face is the same as this one because I inferenced off of there. If I want to do this with the mouse, it is a click to pick the face and then a click to place the face. Yeah, that was right. I had too many words that sounded the same. So pretty simple. Push pulling, very easy. Um, just to show if I was to grab this surface and start push pulling again, I would be grabbing that surface and moving it. If I turn on create or copy face when I do that you can see it's leaving another face behind there so whether I go up push or pull it's leaving that original face there between the two something else I want to point out that is very cool about how uh, push pull works is if I come in here and I push pull this one piece up if I double click on another surface it's going to go to that exact same length automatically double tap just says take this surface and push it the same as I did last time. So there is one more modifier, which is the stretch modifier. Stretch modifier is interesting in that what it does is takes the surface that you're push pulling and it stretches everything behind it. So, so normally if I was to just say push pull this surface right here and pull it out, I would get something like this, right? Pretty simple. If I turn on stretch and I grab the same surface and push it out, look at that. It pulls that other surface along with it. Why is this a thing? Why is this? Why would I use this? Uh, can I just use move? So if this were laying, if this shape were laying flat on the ground, I could use move to pull it up the blue axis. Because this shape is on an angle like this, if I was to use move and grab this face and try to move it, um, I'm gonna have issues in that, yeah, I can move straight up like this, but if I wanna move out perpendicular to the face, that's all push-pull territory. So that's why this ended up over here, uh, being able to move this. It's always gonna be perpendicular. Push-pull is always perpendicular to the original surface. So as I pull it up, that's going to create that shape, which I can't really do unless I realign the axes to the original face or something like that. So another option in push-pull is that stretch option. You can see there's a lot you can do with that one command. And then one, another one of the reasons that people like push-pull so much. Um, there's probably some more stuff we could talk about with push-pull, but I wanted to get you guys the basics. And that is what I think of as the basics. So if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos around here every single week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, I'll leave us a comment down below. Was anything in there new to you? Did you not know how any of that worked? Uh, what's your favorite thing about push-pull? Like I said, a lot of people really like it and call it their favorite command. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.